Why do we worry about probability as economists or social scientists in general? Well, the history of probability calculus is really closely linked to games of luck because the outcome of a game of luck, roulette, some dice games, card games, are random outcomes. So it was in the um, 15th, 16th, 17th century that the sort of calculus of probability was developed and mainly by people who were worried about getting to grips with sort of outcomes and likelihoods of particular games of luck. People here are Cardano, Fermat, yes, the one uh, of Fermat's theorems, fame, Pascal and Laplace, very prominent people in this. Now, you may say, well, we are not, you know, uh, involved in games of luck if we do economics, although, of course, uh, you will often see in investments in financial instruments being compared to, uh, to, to such games of luck. They are have resemblance, not the same. But importantly, we have to understand that almost all events that involve human behavior have a degree of randomness because we don't behave like machines. It is impossible to perfectly predict how humans behave. And therefore, we have to realize results of interactions that involve humans have a degree of randomness. It is now important to understand that randomness does not mean that the outcome is totally unpredictable. For a moment, think back about a game of luck. Think back about a dice. If you roll a dice once, you know the outcome could be anything between one and six, but we know more than that. We know actually that if you have a fair dice, the probability of getting one, two, three, four, five, or six are all equal. They have all equal probab probability one over six. Now that still sounds like, isn't that totally random therefore? Well, think about rolling two dice and thinking about the sum of the numbers on the two dice. Now you will recognize, especially if you played lots of board games as um, we Germans tended to do, that getting a seven, for instance, is much more likely than getting a two or a 12 when you have to add up two numbers on two dice. So you'll hopefully already realize that randomness does not mean unpredictability or total randomness. We can predict something. We know a seven is more likely than a two or a 12. So being able to, do, to undertake probability calculus and to calculate with probabilities will make it easier for us to deal with random outcomes, also those which um, get their randomness from sort of human behavior, human interactions, which are just not totally predictable. It will make it easier for us to make good decisions. And in the context of a statistics course, there's another reason why we have to deal with randomness. What you will often want to do as a statistician, as an economist or social scientist who, who uses data, is that you have a sample of information and you want to use the information from that sample to infer something about a bigger population from which that sample is drawn. Now, you have to typically understand that that sample if it's done well, is a random draw from the population. So the sample outcome which we have in front of us in order to infer something about the unknown population is the outcome of a random event. And that means we will need probability calculus to sort of invert that relationship and learn something about the population from that sample.